Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another real time edit. I'm going to work on this tri colored heron, uh, juvenile tri colored heron. It was fishing right in front of me and a client. It was pretty awesome. So, I'll start with straightening the crop, offset it a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to go all dark with this. So, I'm actually going to place them in the top of the frame because I don't know. Well, now that I actually like that tree line. So, I didn't like the tree line when it was partial like that, but I think when it's complete, I dig it so yeah that works all right so let's see exposure up a bit shadows up a bit blacks back down for contrast not that much highlights down to maintain detail there gonna drop a graduate a graduated filter look at that i combined gradient and graduated into the same word all right gradient filter up top here just gonna shift it a little bit more blue so that sky's got a little bit more pop and then the rest shall happen in Photoshop. So let's jump on over to Photoshop and get working on that file there. All right, here we go. Okay, first things first, clone layer. Oh boy, actually, I don't even think I need one. There's, I don't see anything I have to remove on this one, which is rare for me. So there we go. All right, so burn layer. So it's just a curves adjustment layer to burn. Just going to darken that spot, darken this a little bit. So I want to leave that reflection, uh, but kind of make everything else darker. Um, let's see what else. Actually, now I do see some stuff I want to clone. That dark spot right there, and then maybe that dark spot there. So I'll start with this one. Just kind of fade that one out right there. There we go. Uh, let's just smooth it a little bit better than I did. That's better. And then I'll just kind of work my way over here and try to maybe get rid of that dark spot that's right there. So something like that maybe. Yeah, there we go. That works. I'm just going to add a layer mask to it, bring everything back, and then I'll just go ahead and paint it back in. So the edge of that is just a little soft. I'm not going to worry about those little water drops there. They don't really add anything to the photo. So every once in a while, I'm lazy and don't switch my brush in time to, uh, like, that should have been softer. So I'll just grab the blur tool and actually just run that over the mask, and it just blurs the edge of it a little bit there. So that works out quite nicely. And just do along the top of the bill here. Actually, you know what? The easier way might be for me to just paint all of that in. Oops. And then, yeah, yeah, I got an idea. All right. Well, one thing is I duplicated some grass from over there, which I didn't mean to do. So I'm just going to lower the opacity to 50% on this layer um, and then come back in with painting with black and just bring these water drops back entirely. And that should be a little bit faster than trying to slowly paint all around them and paint everything back in. So I'll just kind of do it in reverse. And thanks to lowering the opacity on the layer, I can now see where I have to paint. So something like that should do the trick. We'll go back to 100% opacity. Oh, and I was painting with the wrong color. Beautiful. Love when I do that. All right, back to 50%. <laughs> Let's paint with black. There we go. That's looking a little better. So yeah, you should start to see these drops come back completely as I paint on them. Oh, that was so funny. I just did that. I was painting them out, not painting them back in. I guess I could, could do those water drops while I'm at it, right? Over there, just about done. I think I got to hit that one. Oops, I went a little too far there. And maybe these just need a little quick pop. And then I should be able to go back to 100. I'll go back to 50, see if there's any. There's just a couple of spots I'm missing here. There we go. 
All right, so smooth out those dark spots back there and maintain the water drops. Perfect. All right, I still want the that I, I kind of want the water line and that sky to be a little bit more blue. So I'm just going to drop a curves layer on there. Make it more blue. Paint that in up here. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little better. And then I'm just going to do a quick color range selection on this blue right here. Lower that a little bit. That should do the trick. And we'll just kind of paint that in right across there. Just make sure I didn't get anything I didn't want. Looks good. And I do think the eye could be just a little bit brighter there. And so can the bill here. And the fish. With that last brush stroke, I kind of overlapped into the water. So you got to watch that. So yeah, I want to make this fish stand out a little bit more. And the water drop that's with it. So I'm just going to use some of this dodge layer right on that. Kind of help that stand out a little bit more. And then maybe just the head of the hair in a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, I, I didn't like that. All right, um, back to my burn layer. I'm just going to darken these spots just a little bit there. And I think I am done. So before, after. Yeah, I'm liking that. You know what? I really like the feathers there in the wing. So I'm going to just add a little bit of contrast and lightning in there so it just kind of shows a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Right, so it's just like the light's a little bit more popping in there. And in fact, it kind of looks good all on the, the white area there. So do the bottom edge of the neck. There we go. Yeah, it gives a little bit more pop. All right, let me save that. I'll go back to Lightroom, show you the total before. So this was, I, I like when there's photos like this where it's not like a massive change, you know. I don't have to do anything too crazy to it. So, all right, there's the finished piece and there is the original. So, if I bring both of those up. There you go, before and after. There's the final version. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about this, I do offer online um, remote sessions that will connect online and go over this. And I also offer online mentorships to teach and learn a little bit more about how I post process images as well as just general stuff about bird photography. So thanks again for watching.